everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a calendar on Microsoft Publisher. Let's get started. The first step is to open your software Microsoft Publisher. Then you're going to go to New and open the blank template. Once you've opened your blank template, you're going to go to Page Design and make sure that your orientation is landscape. After that, you're going to go to Change Template and you're going to go to Home. Here you have so many options. You can even make postcards, labels, greeting cards, newsletters, calendars. But today I'm going to teach you how to make calendars. We're going to click on calendars. And here we have so many templates for your calendars. You can choose any one you like. I'm going to be choosing the tilt one. On the right side, if you notice, you can actually customize your own calendar. I'm going to change my color to berry. I can also change my phone scheme. So I want my phone scheme to be Georgia. And also you can change your page, page size, which is landscape or portrait. So I want mine landscape. The next option is time frame. Time frame means one month per page or one year per page. Now I want mine to be one month per page. Also, you can set the calendar, calendar dates. So I want my start date to be 2021 January and I want my end date to be December 2021. Once I've set my dates, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to hit the OK button. But one more thing is you can actually include schedule of events. If you want, you're going to click on it and then you're going to click OK. But since I don't need the schedules of event, I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. Once you've customized your calendar, you can actually change the background of the calendar. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Page Design, and then you're going to go to Background. Here you can also change to Solid Backgrounds, Gradient Backgrounds, but I want a picture from my file. I'm going to click More Backgrounds. Here we have a few options, but you're going to click on Picture or Texture Fill. Then you're going to insert a picture from file. You can also do it online. Then I'm going to select my picture, and then I'm going to click OK. Here is my background. If I want to set my text, I want to align my text in the on the left side, what I'm going to do is slowly drag it to the left side. Here you go. If I also want to do for my calendar, same thing. I'm going to select, and then I'm going to drag it to the left side, and here we go. For example, every Friday, I have a party, so I want to make sure that I always remember, so I'm going to highlight it so that I never forget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. I'm going to make sure that I select it. Okay, and then I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to fill, and I'm going to do one line in green color. For example, on Friday and Saturday, I have a two days holiday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I remember. So I'm going to highlight these two days and I'm going to go to design, fill, and I want mine blue. For example, on Tuesday, 12th of January, I have an exam. So I want to remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the specific, specific date and I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to click a, a write exam and here you go. Here's your customized calendar. But one more thing is that not every month you get your own customized like background or alignment. You gotta uh, customize it for every every month. So hope you understood. And please do not forget to like, share, sub, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, don't forget to write in the comments below. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Till then, bye.